rolling? We're rolling whenever you're ready to roll. I'm ready to roll. Okay, then go start. Okay. Jimmy, big day up here at Steiner Sports. I know that you've authenticated so many of our great consigner items. I know this auction's come a long, long way. Never thought when we really got these auctions rolling, I would ever have in my hands an item really this rare. And I think when you're talking about a Babe Ruth autographed bat in a class by itself. And then when you talk about this signature, which is literally almost perfect from, I guess you'll get into how many years ago. And just, I, I just want to ask you, how many, how many times do you see a bat like this? And how many times do you see a bat like this, you know, in... In regard to how many Babe Ruth baseballs are out there. Like, how really rare is this? Uh, it's incredible. I mean, I've been now authenticating autographs for some 20 years. And uh, I probably authenticated less, certainly less than 20 Babe Ruth bats. And yet, I've authenticated thousands of Babe Ruth signatures. Uh, especially wow. on balls. I mean, balls, they're, they're, there's many, many balls out there. In different degrees. You know, some are... Are really really nice, and some are you know because the years haven't been good to them. You know people haven't taken care of them. But in this condition, for a bat, um, single sign like this, this is an exceptional item. I'm sure somebody's going to be very very happy to put this into their collection. Wow. Well, as we all know, and this auction especially, I don't know if you've looked through our Yankee Legends auction, but Munson, Maris. I mean, we've really just got you know you've got Yankee game used. Uh, World Series hats. We've got Mark Teixeira's hat, you know, just from the most recent. And this bat, am I, am I right to say this bat's 70 years old? Uh, well, it probably it was produced probably just after his career ended. Uh, so sometime in the 30s, 40s. He died in 48. Um, it's a store model bat, but the signature is incredible. I mean, you could read every single letter. It's uh, It didn't fade in one area. It's remained, you know, it was, it was good that somebody took this brown bat and, and just gently went over it before the signature was on it so that it would have a nice contrast. I mean, he used a, a black fountain pen, um, uh, pen. It, was, it was a steel tip fountain pen, it was just put on there just in the right spot too because some of the bats that I've seen in the past are signed down here or they're signed up here. But this one is just, if, you, if Babe Ruth was sitting here right now and said, could you please sign my bat right there, you, he wouldn't have been able to tag it in a better way. Wow. Well, I think here what you have to realize is, does, does something like this, I mean, you're in so many places and you've spent your entire life really studying and authenticating, and I know you're probably, you know, in every city and all over the place, and you see thousands and thousands of items. How do you feel when you see something like this? Like, does this just be like... Is this kind of like why you do this? Or? Oh, yeah. Every so once in a while, you come across a really nice choice item that really just makes me sit back and go, wow. I mean, I, I see so many other items that I see rapid fire over and over again, regardless of the city that I'm in. And I, I, you know, I'm on a plane a week looking at merchandise from all over the country. But as far as a bat is concerned, signed by Ruth of this quality, this is really special. You're going to... I'm sure do very well with it, but you know, I, I, I envy the person that's going to put this into their collection because it's wow. Be so, and you know what? We get a lot of people with notoriety bidding in the auction. So, this literally, you know, a customer could be bidding against one of the New York Yankees or a season ticket holder or, you know, a movie star or, you know, people who, you know, really have huge collections. And like you said, there's thousands of Babe Ruth balls out there. You know, we've seen less than. You know, maybe 15 of these bats in existence. And of the 15, this bat probably has the nicest signature. It, no. it certainly does. In terms of its boldness, its clarity, it's, it, it, it does have nice lines on it. Uh, it's not too thin in certain areas. You know, you're dealing with... Right now, if you'd ask a ball player to sign something, you'd ask him to do it in a Sharpie pen, which is the most brilliant. Well, back then, you never knew what was going to happen with a steel tip pen. Was it going to from the start to finish, give you a nice signature throughout. Sometimes they're very temperamental. Certain pens didn't, they caught up in some of the grain. In this case, it was like the perfect scenario. You just, uh, again, if, if he was sitting here, you'd ask him to do that, and uh, you couldn't ask for much wow. more than that. So I, I think that's amazing too. Like you almost, not only is this bat 70 years old, and not only is it amazing signature, but you really needed like the perfect storm just to get the signature right at that point 
70 years ago, and, okay. and it's just standing up, you know, today, so. There's no smudge marks on it, it's just in really nice shape, and someone did take the time to just gently go over that area before he, he signed it, and just kind of lighten it up, because of, you know, wow. the brown toning of it, that's. Right, it's kind of like wiping the wax off a baseball card before somebody signs it. So. He, yeah, otherwise uh, it's going right. to bubble up or whatever, but in this case, that, that. Just exactly. cured well. And, and you know, another thing that people don't realize, you could seemingly have a beautiful signature today on an item, and if you're not going to use the right, right implement, or if there's a bad chemical imbalance between, say, the, the, the skin of the uh, cowhide or, or the, uh, the chemistry between that and the ink, five, six years from now, if they don't mesh well, the signature could disappear. I've, I've done that. I've given a pen to a ball player, sure. had him sign it, and realizing years later that it wasn't the right pen to use, and, and it just will disintegrate. Here's something that, let's face it, if you don't keep this thing out in the sunlight right now, that, that being on there for some 70, 80 years, I mean, that's going to be on there for, for good in that condition as long as you take good care of it. Wow. Well, I, I think, you know, and, and I'm glad you're here, and I'm glad we got to talk about the bat, but it makes me feel that Steiner Auctions is at a whole nother level, you know, when someone is willing to entrust us to an item, you know, and obviously, you know, Brandon's longevity in the hobby and the company's really caring about authenticity and you've worked with us on that. And one of the major things we do is, you know, fraud protection and make sure things legit and there's nothing more, and legit is a big word, nothing more legit than this bat and our auction really I think has become a marketplace for just some insane items. Mm. You know? Oh, you, you certainly attract me. You get great market market rights out there. Um, you know, we provided a letter of authenticity for the specific bat. Uh, what it does is explains uh, the various characteristics, the statistics of the bat virtually. And with this, this would make this bat marketable no matter where it goes. I mean, anyone, any major auction house, any dealer, uh, any collector would accept this bat as being valid throughout the industry. Wow. You know, that's, fortunately, we have that reputation, and uh, the letter should always travel along with the bat. So Great. it ensures that. Well, hopefully to all of our customers and fans, this was a little bit of a lesson just in, you know, really the, the passion and the hobby that we love, which is collecting autographs of our greats and following great players. And I think if you go to the Yankee Auctions Legends, which begins... On April 4th, right around the time when the Yankees are going to try to repeat as World Series champions, you're going to see so many great items from the stadium. We still have stadium signs, George Steinbrenner seats, game use, bases, balls. But this is the creme de la creme. And you will see this bat online. You will be able to bid on it in our auction. You will be able to own a jewel in collecting. So thank you, Jimmy. Thanks for thank your time. You. Thank you very and much. And thanks for stopping up here today. And we just have a great item here. And great. we're just going to enjoy it. Good luck to the winning bidder. Thank you.